come one, come all to the 10 day accessibility challenge. Today, we're making lists. Lists are great. Teachers love lists. Students love lists. I can make a list of all the reasons to love lists. Lists organize ideas, enhance scannability, help us summarize and condense information, and emphasize the relationship between items on the list. What's not to love? Lists are fabulous because they take dense text, which can be hard to read, and transform it into easily readable format, cushioned by white space. So, remember that underlying HTML we talked about in day three? Like headings, lists have HTML tags. So if we don't create a digital list in the right way, these important tags will be missing. In a simple bulleted list, the HTML looks like this. The list begins with the unordered list tag, and each item in the list gets its own list tag too. The list ends with the closing tag. But in the rich content editor, the WYSIWYG editor, what you see is this, nice tidy bullet icons and aligned text. Not a double dash followed by the item, because this is not a real list, or an icon you designed. Nope, not a real list. <laughs> not even clever spinning flowers. Definitely not a real list. To create a beautiful list, type in each item in your list on a separate line. Hit return between each item. Highlight the list, then select the list format from the top row of the formatting ribbon. And like magic, you have a list. Or place your cursor where you want your list to start. Select the list format, then type the first item in your list. Hit return, then type in the second item. Hit return, type in the next item, and so on. After the last item, hit return twice. Note that on the first return, there is still a bullet, but on the second return, you're back to normal paragraph format. Okay, you're almost ready to go out and create some beautiful lists. But first, one reminder, a single item is not a list. Be sure you use the list feature when you have at least two items. A quick reminder that sharing is a key to our success. Please share this video with a friend or colleague who is new to Canvas or online learning. Sharing is caring. And that, my friend, is why we have the 10-Day Accessibility Challenge.